In this video, we'll be discussing something that is guaranteed to set your career on fire in a really good way. I'm talking about the best cybersecurity certifications to get in 2024. The awesome part is whether you're a beginner at the intermediate level or you're already an expert, I'll be showing you the certification you should be aiming for to get your career on the next level. Not only that, I'm also going in depth to talk about the topics these certifications cover, the exams, the duration, and an estimate of how how much it will cost you to secure them so grab a seat get comfy and let's get into it hey there my name is Tolu Lokwe Michael I'm a cybersecurity expert I've been one now for close to a decade I recently made a video on how to get ahead of 99% of cybersecurity professionals in six months and one of the things I mentioned that can help you in your career as a cybersecurity professional is certifications by the way you need to go watch that video for yourself to get the full gist the link to it will be in the description below now back to today's topic most cybersecurity professionals at any level will tell you they either just got the certification or they're aiming to get one and that tells you how vital certifications are in your professional journey but before we jump into the list let's address the elephant in the room why are certifications important in cyber security and the answer is simple it is for the credibility and the competitive edge that they provide as we are all aware skills get the job done but certifications validate those skills and demonstrate your commitment to staying current with industry standard then there is also the opportunity to earn better as well according to a report by isc2 cybersecurity professionals with certification earn on average 18 percent more than their non-certified peers plus with cybersecurity job markets expected to grow by 31% by 2029, there's never been a better time to level up your skills and credentials. That being said, let's kick things off with the first certification on our list. Number one, we have the Certified Information System Security Professional, popularly called CISSP. This certification is often considered the gold standard in cybersecurity certifications. The CISSP is ideal for experienced security practitioners, managers, and executives. This certification exam costs approximately, as at the time I'm recording this video, about $699. But the fee may vary depending on whether it covers the examination alone or includes study materials. Now, as for exam length, the CISSP exam is a comprehensive test and lasts about three hours. The, the time I did mine, my exam lasted for six hours. It is designed to rigorously evaluate your knowledge and your expertise across various security domains and it covers topics such as risk management where you'll be identifying assessing and prioritizing risk to an organization information asset there's asset security as well which covers protecting organization assets through their life cycle and it also covers security architecture and engineering which has to do with designing and implementing secure architectures and systems and so much more now according to ic2 cyber security workforce study see SSP certified professionals earn an average salary of $116,000 a year. This certification is recognized globally and is often a requirement for senior level security positions. Next on my list is Certified Ethical Hacker. If you're fascinated by the minds of hackers and want to learn how to think like one, this is the certification for you. First of all, don't be too surprised that CEH certification exam costs around $1,199. This fee includes the examination fee and official training cost. In terms of duration, the CEH exam is a thorough assessment that lasts for about four hours. This is the second one I did when I started my cybersecurity career. And this exam, CEH, is designed to test your knowledge and your practical skills in various hacking techniques and ethical hacking practices. The certification covers a wide range of critical topics, including hacking methodologies, where your understanding of the different phases of hacking, you know, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and covering tracks will be tested. Also, network security, which tests you on securing networks against various types of attacks, including wireless networks, and all that and also pen testing which is all about conducting simulated attacks on systems to identify 
and fix security vulnerabilities and amongst other topics as you may already know the ch certification is highly regarded in the industry and according to ec council professionals with a ch certification can expect an average salary of ninety thousand dollars per year trust me this is a great choice if you're looking to get into penetration testing or offensive security moving on to certification for beginners the one that is very good for you perfect for beginners and no other one than the popular comptia security plus this certification is a great starting point if you're new to cyber security but how much will it cost you to get this the comptia security plus exam costs around 370 dollars as at the time i'm recording this for first time takers which is quite an affordable investment for those who are starting their journey in cyber security now as for the exam length the security plus exam is a concise yet very comprehensive assessment it lasts for about 90 minutes it is designed to evaluate your foundational knowledge and skills in various areas of cyber security even more noteworthy is the fact that this exam covers a broad range of essential topics including threats attacks and vulnerability which involve understanding different types of threats attacks and vulnerabilities that can compromise security there's architecture and design this deals with knowledge of secure network architecture right this design principles and implementing security measures implementation that is installing and configuring secure applications networks and devices then there is also operations and incident response which is about managing security operations monitoring and responding to security incidents and all and all and all like that computer security plus is often the first certification many cyber security professionals earn for obvious reasons and talking about average salaries according to pay scale security plus certified professionals earn an average salary of seventy two thousand dollars annually for those looking to move into management the certified information security manager popularly known as cism is a top choice this certification is designed for individuals managing and overseeing enterprise level security to get one, it will cost you around $760, which of course reflects the comprehensive and advanced nature of the certification. You should also know that the CISM is a thorough assessment lasting four hours. It is designed to rigorously evaluate your knowledge and expertise in managing and overseeing security operations within an organization. The exam covers a wide range of critical topics too, like information security, governance, which involves establishing and maintaining a framework to ensure that information security strategies are aligned with business objectives and consistent with applicable laws and regulations. Also, we have risk management as well, where you identify and manage information security risk to achieve business objectives and incident management. Now, this will test your knowledge of planning establishing and managing the process of responding to and recovering from disruptive information security events just to name a few according to isaka the average salary for cism a certified professional is around one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars per year so if your goal is a leadership role in cyber security with really good pay this certification should be on your radar next we are certified information systems auditor this certification is ideal for those focusing on auditing control and assurance and yet another cost approximately 760 dollars it is a comprehensive assessment that lasts four hours as well during this time you'll be tested on your ability to effectively audit control and assure information systems the exam covers a wide range of essential topics which include information systems auditing process to check your understanding and application of it auditing standard and principles to ensure that information systems integrity and reliability is available then there is governance and management of it and this involves evaluating it governance structure and practices to ensure that there is an alignment with organizational goals and objectives and in case you didn't know caesar certified professionals are in high demand according to isaka they earn an average of one hundred and five thousand dollars a year not bad at all if you ask me i would definitely recommend this if you're an it auditor or a professional managing it risk and control and for folks looking for a hands-on challenging certification the offensive security certified professional oscp is a fantastic option this particular one is known for its rigorous exam and certifies your ability to conduct pen testing using various techniques 
as for how much it will cost the cost of the oscp certification varies depending on the training package you choose the exam alone typically costs around 999 dollars but if you opt for the full course with lab access the price can range from 1149 to 1499 as at the time i'm recording this video this investment covers not only the exam but also extensive preparation materials and access to a virtual lab environment and the exam duration is a whooping 24 hours can you imagine taking an exam for a whole 24 hours yes well during this period candidates are required to perform various penetration testing activities on a live network containing multiple systems this extensive exam format ensures you can demonstrate your ability to apply your knowledge in real world scenarios also the oscp certification covers a comprehensive range of topics critical to ethical hacking and penetration testing from network pen testing where the focus is on techniques for assessing the security of networks by identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities to vulnerability analysis which discusses method for discovering and evaluating security weaknesses in systems and applications and exploitation which has to do with practical skills in exploiting identified vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access now like i said earlier this certification is highly respected in the cybersecurity community and is a valuable credential for any ethical hacker or pen tester professionals with this certification often move into roles such as penetration testers and security consultants and earning average salaries of ninety two thousand dollars per year according to pay scale i know we've been at it for a while but we're not done yet next on my list is giac security essentials this is another excellent choice especially for those looking to demonstrate their technical skills in it security beyond basic knowledge you know i'm a big supporter of investing in yourself and your career but you really need to be all in if you're looking to get a gsec the cost for this certification including training is around $2,499 like that a lot but this fee includes comprehensive training materials that prepare you thoroughly for the exam making it a worthwhile investment for your cyber security career also the exam for this certification is a detailed assessment that lasts five hours and covers topics such as cryptography incident handling network security and security architecture according to global information assurance certification gsec certified professionals earn an average salary of ninety five thousand dollars per year is it an investment that is worth it definitely yes because this highly regarded certification validates your ability to handle complex security tasks making you a valuable asset in absolutely any IT security role. The opportunities are practically limitless. Now, with the increasing shift to cloud technologies, the Certified Cloud Security Professional CCSP is becoming more relevant. This certification is ideal for those specializing in cloud security. So are you a cloud security professional? This one is for you. It costs approximately $599 to take the CCSP exam and a total of four hours to write it. The CCSP also encompasses a broad range of critical areas in cloud security, like cloud architecture, which is all about understanding the principle and frameworks of cloud architecture, including how to design and implement secure cloud solutions. There is data security, which covers learning how to protect data across cloud lifecycle, including encryption, masking, and data loss prevention techniques, and also cloud platform and infrastructure security, which will help you gain expertise in securing cloud platforms and infrastructure, including the configuration and management of security controls, to name just a few. With this certification, you can expect to earn an average salary of $119,000 per year which is quite a good pay to earn securing cloud environment moving on to another very popular one we have the computer cyber security analyst certification this is ideal for those focusing on behavioral analytics to improve the overall state of it security it costs approximately 349 dollars making it an affordable option for those seeking to validate their skills in cyber security analysis you should also know that the exam is a comprehensive assessment that lasts just 165 minutes. It covers a wide range of critical topics in cybersecurity analysis, including threat detection, 
data analysis, vulnerability management, and incident response. This certification is growing in popularity as well as is often pursued by security analysts and threat hunters. Certified professionals can earn an average salary of $74,000 per year. Finally, let's talk about the certified information privacy professional. With privacy concerns growing globally, this certification is highly relevant for those specializing in data protection and privacy laws. The CIPP certification exam cost, as at the time of recording this video, approximately $550. And the exam lasts for two and a half hours, during which you would be thoroughly tested on your understanding of US privacy laws and regulations. Topics covered include US privacy laws, regulations and standards, as well as enforcement models and privacy program management. Now, to buttress how well regarded this certification is, according to the International Association of Privacy Professionals, CIPP certified professionals earn an average salary of $130,000 per year. So, with all these options I have mentioned above, how do you know the right certification for you? That's the question. This is one area a lot of people struggle with, most especially because they are not informed enough to make the right decision. As a bonus, I have a roadmap to help guide you through selecting and progressing through cybersecurity certifications based on your career goals. So, step one is to identify your career goals. You need to determine the area of cybersecurity you are interested in, such as network security, cloud security, pen testing, or risk management. Then, research job descriptions and requirements in your desired field so you can understand which certifications are most valued by employers. The second thing, which is step number two, is start with entry level certifications. If you're a beginner, it's better you start with foundational certifications that cover basic cybersecurity concepts. For instance, the Comptia Security Plus is an excellent choice for those new to the field. This gives you a broad overview of essential security principles. Step number three is gain practical experience. Look for opportunities to gain some practical experience. Hands on experience is something employers are always on the lookout for in cybersecurity. You can apply for internships, entry level positions, or volunteer to practice what you've learned in real world settings. Step number four is advance to intermediate certifications. Once you have some experience, consider certifications now focusing on specific areas of interest. For example, if you're interested in cloud security, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional and Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect are excellent choices. This is a great point to start getting more specific and niche down on what you want your career to look like. And in step five, you can start to pursue advanced certifications for professionals with a bit more experience. Advanced certifications like CISSP, CISM, and CISA can significantly enhance your credentials and open door to senior positions. But the most important is step number six, which is all about continuous learning and renewal. Cybersecurity is a dynamic field that is constantly evolving, so staying updated with the latest development is non-negotiable. For example, pursuing continuous education, attending workshops, renewing your certifications as required are great ways to keep up with the times. The end goal is for you to remain relevant as the cybersecurity field transforms. So guys, We've come to the end of this video. If you found this episode insightful, show some love by liking and subscribing. Also, remember to share it with your friends and tap the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.